Hey guys, I'm Dahlia and today we are going to be making a Mother's Day cake. It's going to consist of a gluten-free chocolate cake, which is a new recipe here, and it is, oh my god, it is so, so good. And we're going to be making a fudgy chocolate frosting with a secret ingredient. So it's going to be delicious and obviously gorgeous, so I'm so excited to share it with you. And now, let's get into the video. <laughs> actually really really simple to make and it's also healthy for you it's gluten free dairy free so we have here some almond milk and to it I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar then we're going to mix this together and just set it aside until it kind of curdles a little bit so we're just going to let that sit and now I've got a large bowl so to this we are going to add all the dry ingredients so I've got here some oat flour and I just took some regular gluten-free rolled oats, and I blend them in my Nutribullet, and then we've got oat flour. It's so easy to make. There's no reason to buy it already blended. I mean, you could, but if you have oats on hand, just blend them up, and you've got this. Then I have here some almond meal, or also known as almond flour, cocoa powder. I really like buying the Hershey's cocoa powder because it's really strong and has an excellent flavor. Some baking soda, baking powder, and some salt. So because we're not sifting this, you want to give us a really good mix to try to get a lot of those clumps out. Obviously, you won't get all of them, but just try to get most of them. And you could also like go like this and crush up the lumps as well. So now we're going to add the liquid ingredient. So you can just make a little bit of a well in the center of this bowl. And we're going to pour in the almond milk mixture that we made before. And also, depending on what brand of almond milk you buy, um, it may curdle, it may not, but either way, it's all good. Then I have here some coconut sugar instead of regular granulated sugar today. We've got two eggs at room temperature. Some agave nectar, but you can also use maple syrup or honey, any like liquid sweetener. Vanilla extract. And then I have here a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. And we're just going to mix this all together. So I'm going to grab my whisk, we don't need the rubber spatula yet, and just whisk it. And I always like to give my batter just a quick fold at the end to make sure that there's no like flour or anything stuck at the bottom of the bowl. So it looks all ready and perfect, and now it's time to get it into the pan. So I have here a 6 inch pan, and I'm going to line it with some parchment paper, so I've already cut it into a circle. And then just take some oil, put it into the middle, and we're going to spread it out with a paper towel and I have to go get one. I'll be right back. Okay, so basically, take your vapor towel and we're gonna spread it onto the sides of the pan because we're not using baking spray since it's a gluten-free cake. I mean, if you're not gluten-free and you wanna make this, go ahead and make it and then you could just use regular baking spray. But for me, I'm gonna use this. But you can also use like a gluten-free cooking spray as well. Um, this is just what I had on hand. So, pan is all greased and now we are going to add the batter into it. Once the batter is in the pan, just take some chocolate chips and sprinkle it all over the top. And these are just going to sink in and make this cake even more fudgy. And they're going to sink down as it bakes. So you can also just give this a few taps on your counter. We're going to this in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 30 minutes. And while it's baking, we're going to get started making our chocolate fudge frosting that has a super cool secret ingredient, which makes it extremely healthy and very fudgy and very delicious. So I'm so excited to share with you and let's get baking this and then I'll show you how to make the frosting. So I've already prepared this super fudgy chocolate frosting. So now let me take you through all the steps to make it and it's really, really simple and easy. You're gonna be really confused about the ingredients that go into it. But I'm telling you, make it, try it in your kitchen because you're going to fall in love with it and it's really healthy actually. So now, okay, let's make it. So into a food processor, you're going to add Two avocados, there it is. The avocados are our secret ingredient here. They're gonna make it super fudgy and creamy and you don't really taste them at all. Not you don't really, you don't taste them. Like I, I didn't taste any avocado in it. So you're going to add those in, then add in some maple syrup or you can also use agave nectar like I used here today, but either one will work, along with some vanilla extract, salt and cocoa powder. So you're going to blend this up on high speed until it starts to become really creamy. Then if you feel that it's not super creamy and it's not coming together super nicely like mine looks here, 
You can take a teaspoon of melted coconut oil, add it in, and then continue to blend it, and it will just come out perfect. Oh my God. Take a look at this shot here. Look how silky and smooth this is. And I'm telling you, I gave it a try, and it's, you don't taste any avocado. All you taste is a delicious, fudgy, chocolatey frosting. So. The cake is all cooled, so I have here the avocado fudge frosting, and I also have some strawberries that I basically just sliced into little rainbows like this. And now it's time to decorate. So now it's time to give it a try. I already had a few pieces before, but let's see how it is on camera. Mmm, it's amazing. This cake is insanely delicious. Wait until after you see your mom's reaction tasting it to tell her what's in it because she will not even believe that there's oats and there's almonds and there's avocados. It's just insane and your moms are going to love it. So go ahead, print the recipe on my website, it's brainingflower.com, and get making this for Mother's Day because you're going to love it and it might even become a staple in your house because now I'm gonna be making this avocado fudge frosting like all the time because it is so, so good. And it's just so rich and fudgy and just, I can't tell you enough how much I love it. So give this a try, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you'll get notified every single time I post a video. And also, happy Mother's Day, and I will see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.